They are worse than stupid. They are evil. They are legislative and media elites, leaders who are manipulating us for political purposes. Please don't let them get away with it. Personalize it if you can. If you have some adulation for the women of The View who are so staunchly anti-firearm, please recognize they can't be anti-firearm. They're not, not in their personal lives. If you wanted to assault Joy Behar in her studio, you would be met with security that if you resisted, you would be met with gun-toting security. If you even wanted to have a conversation with Ms. Behar, okay, no intentional, no possible violence could ensue, you would still almost certainly be kept away by security that are armed. When Ms. Behar goes home to her apartment, do you think she rests all her security in some guards that only have mace? No, ultimately they protect her with guns. Yet she would be depriving every one of us from the same protections. These elite leaders play to emotions. Television is an emotional medium. Eyes are aroused and it does go to our brains. When ears and when deep thought following reading ensues, we tend to come to better decisions and almost everybody, if truly thinking about the protections afforded by the best defensive weaponry possible, defensive to protect each other, that would be guns. Best defensive weapon ever created. Now, yes, they can be offensive weapons too. Alfred Nobel, the Nobel Prize for Peace, was named after him, having invented or perfected anyway, dynamite, things that are used to explode, but things that are basically used for good construction. Guns similarly, 99.98% of the time are fired for not bad. An unknowing hypocrite would be one thing. These elites are worse. They know they're not stupid. They are manipulative. They have the tools to be very manipulative. At some point, it might be worth a reasoned discussion about magazines of a hundred or more rounds, about bump stocks, even though they can be created at will. But until the elites assure that they want protection for everybody else, okay? Drop every resistance about our having the right to protect ourselves. Until we get that assurance, I would not buy into any proposal that an elite who wants to ultimately take away our guns is giving. I'm Mark Stewart.